Hello everyone, welcome back to Guitar Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Hogwarts a legacy is having crashing issue. It is not launching, freezing, black screen, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, stuttering and all these kind of issue including stuck on loading screen, all these kind of issues which is regarding the Hogwarts legacy and how you can fix this at Windows 11 as well as on Windows 10 when you're trying to play the game on a PC or laptop with how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. So the first one is all about as a basic, basic step, what you have to do is when you're having the issue, you just have to close the game, everything and go over here on the start and do a simple restart. Just do a simple restart. After restart, just open the Steam once again and you can see whether you are able to fix the issue or not. So this is just a basic step which you have to try and this is not gonna work for everyone but even though you can try this out as a basic one. Don't neglect it as it is a basic one. This did work to miracles in some, for the some users so try with a basic restart. Next one is all about, you have to quit the Steam. As you can see, I'm on the Steam. So uh, after restarting the computer, you just have to quit the Steam in the sense you have to go over here at the top, click on the Steam, now go for exit. After exiting, just wait for a couple of minutes or seconds, then open the Steam once again, then try to or navigate to the Hogwarts Legacy and try to play the game. This did work for some users as well. Moving to the next one is all about, you have to allow the game to window security. For that reason, you have to go over here in the search, now go for control panel, select this one. Now from here go to Windows Defender Firewall. From here go to allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here you have to scroll down and navigate to the game that is Hogwarts Legacy. So uh, over here if it's already there, as you can see if the game is already there as you can see by default it is added that is Hogwarts Legacy and make sure that private and public should be checked that is it should be marked so if it is unchecked you have to check it so if the game is not here we can add it by manually so if you don't know how to add it by manually just click on hello another app over here click on browse now from here go to this pc this is where the game is installed in my case by default because i'm only having local disk one that is c so all the game will be by default from the steam will be installed over here i have to click on local disk c now from here I have to scroll down and navigate to program file x86, scroll down and navigate to the program file steam. I have to go to steam, so let me go to steam over here. Now from here scroll down and navigate to steam apps. Now go to common. Now from here scroll down and navigate to Hogwarts legacy. As you can see this is the game so I have to add it and I have to open it. So here if I tap on add I will be getting an error message like this because it's already added. So you have to add it and once you add with this added, so just make sure the both the private and public should be checked. After doing this step, just close everything, go to the Steam and see whether you are able to fix the issue or not. On to the next one is all about, you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that reason, you can go over here, go to search and you can search for graphics settings, just search for graphics settings. Now from here, this is how it looks like. So. This particular step did work it as a miracle for many of the users. So do not uh, forget this step or do not neglect this. So what you have to do is just have to add the game. As you can see here, I have already added many games. So simultaneously, vice versa, you have to add this game also. For that, just click on the browse. Now from here, go to local disk C and navigate to program file x86. Now from here, go to Steam folder. Keep on scrolling and navigate to Steam folder. Now from here go to Steam Apps, now from here go to Common, now from here go to Hogwarts Legacy, now select this one and go for Add. Right now as you can see the game is added but this is not enough. So if you add this and try to play the game, you will be having an issue regarding or this is one of the reason why many issues regarding crashing at startup won't launch, not loading all these things is happening. So here if you go to the options. We can see that graphic performances by Windows has been set into let Windows decide. So this particular issue is causing the issue. So what we have to do is we just have to change this to high performance. So that is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 with maximum Q design. Just change from let Windows decide to high performance and save it. Once after that, when you're trying to launch the game, it will be smooth enough to play the game. 
and you will not be having any kind of these kind of issues. This can also be done. Next step, it what you have to do is we just have to install graphics card manually. So I'll be providing a link in the description for both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD users, which you don't have to worry. So first one, if you're on the NVIDIA users like this, you'll be getting a page like this when you click on the link. Now from here, go to over here at the top middle, click on drivers. So that will take you to this particular page. And now, as you can see, the product type, you have to select every respective details. That is the product type is GeForce. Product series is GeForce RTX 40 series. Product is GeForce RTX 4090 laptop GPU. Operating system is up to you. If it is Windows 10, select the respective one. If it is Windows 11, because in my case, I'm using Windows 11. So I have to select Windows 11 and go for download type. And I have to select the language and go for start search. Now over here, as you can see, the version is 528.49, which is the latest version and the release date is 8th of the February 2023, which is around three days back. And the operating system which is supported is for Windows 10 64 bit as well as Windows 11. And it is around uh, languages English and it is around 814.59 MB. You have to download this. After downloading this, you have to open the .exe and click on install option and try to install this particular graphics over here. And also after installing this, do a restart so that the changes can be seen. And once after that, try to play the game. Simultaneously, if you're on the AMD, you have to go over here in the graphics, select the respective one from here and go for a submit option. Now from here, what you have to do is we have to select two things that is Windows 11 64 bit and Windows 10. So if you're on Windows 11, select this one and you can select AMD Software Adrenaline Edition that is download this particular version. So if you're on Windows 10, you have to select this one that is Adrenaline Edition. You have to download this one. And this is what you have to do. And moving to the next one is all about after installing this as well, try to do a restart, which is a mandatory. And after restarting your computer, try to play the game Hogwarts Legacy and you can see the differences. Moving to the next one is all about, you have to run the game as an administrator. For to this particular stage, we can use two methods. The first one, we can navigate to the particular installer, installer folder from Steam itself. For that, select the game, right click, which is this particular step is very easy. Go to properties, go to local file, click on browse so that you are very easily redirected to the path as you can see that this path or locally C program file steam steam amps common hogwarts legacy we are in the installation folder from here what you have to do is just select the game right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility and over here mark run this program as an administrator you have to check this go for apply and go for ok try to launch the game Simultaneously, if this is not working, we have to do one more step. That is, you have to launch the game from installation folder. So that can be done from here itself. Try to launch the game from here itself and instead of Steam, launch the game from installation folder. So if you don't know how to move to this particular, that means how to navigate to the installation folder, then we have one a little bit tougher step. That means you have to it is very easy that you can navigate to this particular stuff from Steam itself. But if you wanted to go in this way, just go to local to see. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to program file x86. Now scroll down and navigate to Steam. Now from here, go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, go to uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Click on this one. Now from here, launch the game from here itself. This will also work as fine. So you can try the both the step and this did work it. So moving to the next one is all about after runs the game, we have to delete the saved game file. So when you're saving the game and when trying to play the game down the road, you can go to documents over here. So like as you can see, Call of Duty, Dead Space and all these things will be having a folder for Hogwarts Legacy. Delete the respective folder. So when you do this, keep in mind, you'll be losing everything over there, but do not worry. That did work for many users, so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about, we have to install uh, Microsoft Visual C++. So for that, we just have to go over here in the link, which I'll be giving in the description. So if you go to the link, sorry, if you go to the link over here, as you can see, we have uh, two links that is just uh, go over here, go to the Microsoft over here. Now from here, we have to 
download it so uh it's not sorry i give you something by mistake so i'll search it that is uh microsoft i'll search over here microsoft you should see plus we we'll just search like this select the respective one the first one now you are on this page and over here as you can see you have to download uh, this one if it x86 download this one if you're on x64 download this one and if you don't know how to check whether you are x64 or x86 just follow the instruction go over here in the search go to settings now from here go to system scroll down and navigate to about at the bottom now from here system type as you can see that is 64 bit operating system that is x64 based processor so you have to select this one so you understood that this is this one is yours so you have to download the respective one after downloading the this particular file install this version on your pc and or laptop do a restart then try to play the game this did work out for many of the users as well moving to the next one is all about we have to disable steam overlay as well as overclocking application so first one steam overlay right click over here go to properties and over here as you can see under general make sure enable the steam overlay while in game should be unchecked if it is checked that means it is enabled so if it is unchecked that means it is disabled so you have to disable the steam overlay this did work it for many of the users as well moving to the next one is closing overclocking application for that just go over here in the start now from here go to task manager and as you can see over here we are having many games and which is running in the background there are 94 things which is running in the background there are some apps which is draining out your performance for example discord lg hub uh, if any antiviruses are there, etc. So what you have to do is you just have to scroll down like this and you have to navigate to each of this and you have to end the task. So over here the Discord is not there because when I'm trying to play the game I did uh, end the task at one so it's not there. So in the simultaneously you have to go over here find if the Discord is there select the Discord and go for end the task. Simultaneously for LG up over here select it and go for end the task and if you're having any other things like you know any antiviruses are joining in the background and all these things you have to do the same and this will help you to improve the performance because they're draining out or raining in the background which is draining out a lot of performance. So try to do this as well that will also working fine. Moving to the next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot. For perform performing a clean boot go over here in the search and go for system configuration like this uh, select this one now go to boot sorry services and over here click on disable all once you're done with disabling all be before that make sure hide all microsoft services should be done and once after that go for disable all by mistake i disable it first you have to click on hide all microsoft services once after that just go for disable then go for apply and go for ok after that it might ask you for a restart if it is asking for a restart definitely go for a restart then after the restart try to play the game and this did work it as well moving to the next one is all about we have to verify integrity of game file so this did work it for many of the users and this is a default step for every game so if any files are any in the background or if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step for that is just click on the hogwarts legacy over here right click and go to properties now over here go to local file and there is an option called verify integrity of game file so just click on this and wait this to reach 100 percentage so this is going to take a little bit of time because the game is around 72.91 gb so i'm not doing this because we are in the middle of video but uh, this will take a little bit of time around hardly five to six months depends on your uh, wi-fi or uh, the performance but you can try this out so this will fix a lot of issue like if any files are missing any files are corrupted any files are having any other issue all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so this is actually a very important step you can try this out this will be helping guys to fix the issue up moving to the next one is all about what do you have to do you just have to update your windows for that just go over here in the search go to settings now from here you have to go to bottom left windows update over here if you're having any update just download and install the windows update and after uh, updating the windows to the latest version try to play the game because for any the game like hogwarts legacy we should be on the latest version of windows that is very important moving to the next one 
is all about you have to disconnect multiple monitors or USB devices etc if it is already connected. So some users might be playing the game with a joystick or some might be already by default will be connected with the Logitech wheels etc on their PC or laptop. So uh, what you have to do is and even if any things or other things are connected just eject everything from the USB port. Like if it is controllers are there just ejected, LG hubs are there like sorry I mean the Logitech wheels are there just eject everything. After ejecting everything try to open the game. Once you're done with opening the game, if you're for what, trying to or willing to play the game with the controllers, connect the controller back, then most probably you'll be fine with that. Because uh, when it is connected to the control uh, USB ports, that is causing the issue. I don't know how it is related, but this is causing the issue. So if the controllers or you're trying to play the game with the controller, eject everything from the USB port and keep it free, launch the game. After the game is launching, if you wanted to play the game with controllers, then just connect it back and try to play the game and this will work as it is. Moving to the next one is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game. For that reason, you just have to go over here for uninstalling, right click, go to manage and go for uninstall the game. But while reinstalling the game, keep in mind, you just have to go over here like I will show you. Over here, as you can see, I'm only having local to see. So when I'm trying to uninstall and reinstall him back, by default and the common sense, the game will be installed on the same local disk. This will not be fixed in the issue. When you're uninstalling the game and reinstalling back, it should be in another local disk. For example, for your computer is having two to three local disks, that is local disk C, D, E, etc. vice versa. So you uninstall the game from local disk C. Now when you're trying to reinstall it back, try with D or E. You can try with D, then check whether it's going to fix issue or you can try with E because the local disk should be changing. So that is what you have to try. So this is very important step and this did work good. So I have seen many users saying when uninstall the game and reinstall it back, it takes a little bit of time because the game has to get downloaded again. But this did work it perfectly for many users in the Reddit. So you can try this method as well. And also I would like to make a notice that we have to give few commands in the launch option. For that is just click over here in the log, uh, Hogwarts Legacy, go to properties. Over here under launch option, we have to give two value. First one that is DX11 launch the game if it is not working change this to dx12 and launch the game so if it's not working as it is just keep the same and by default let it be it the same and the next one we have two steps which is very important and one i mean is all about after updating the graphics card for many users they the issues regarding the crashing not launching won't launching freezing stuttering etc became more nightmare so that particular issue can be because the latest versions is causing the graphic drivers update is causing the issue. If that is the case, just go over here in the start and go to device manager because we have to roll back the driver. Then go to display adapters. Now select the respective graphics card, right click, go to properties, go to driver. Now over here, click on roll back driver. So this is going to work as perfect because when you roll back the driver, you are into the older versions before it is. So that is going to work smooth. For some users, I'm not saying for everyone, for some users when they updated the graphics card that became a lot of nightmare and even they are not able to do anything. So if that is the case, just roll back the drivers and this particular step did work it very smoothly for all the users and this is going to work as you for you as well. Next one is all about, we have to increase the virtual memory. For that reason, just go over here in the search and we have to go for view advanced system settings. Now from here, you have to go to settings go to advance it now from here click on change and over here as you can see the automatically manage paging file size for all the device now i'm able to select the disk right so if i unmark it that means if i click over here i'll not be able to select the disk so make sure this is unchecked so select the respective local disk if you're having multiple local disks, so local to c d e etc make sure to select the local disk where the game is installed so in my case it is local to c so i have to select this one now I have to go to custom size and here I have to keep the value for initial size as well as maximum size. So initial size is always 1.5 times the total RAM. Maximum size is always 3 times the total RAM. So uh, I'll do one thing. So I'll be showing you how to find my RAM first. So just go over here in the search. Go to settings. Scroll down over here and go to about. Now from here as you can see it is quite visible that my RAM is 32 GB. Okay, the RAM is 32 GB. So what I have to do is just have to close this. 
Now go back over here in the search, go to calculator. Now from here I have to multiply 32 GB. So GB is there, so I have to convert it into MB. For that I have to use a conversion value that is 1024. So this is by default, that is 1024. Now that is 32,768. Now I have to give the initial size, right? So for giving the initial size, I have to multiply it with 1.5 times. That is 1.5, that is 49,152. So what I did is I did conversion 32, uh, 32 into 1024. Then I multiply it with 1.5 because initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. So total RAM is 32,768. I multiply it, it with 1.5. Now I just have to paste it. Maximum size is three times the total RAM. So what I have to do is I just have to go over here. First do the conversion that is 32 into 1024. That is 32,768. I have to multiply it with three. That is 98,304. So I have to copy this because maximum size is three times the total RAM. So I have to paste it. Now go for OK. Then after that, do a restart. Then try to play the game. So these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out. When you are having an issue with Hogwarts Legacy is crashing, it is not launching, stuttering, freezing, black screen, uh, you know, a low FPS drop, stick on loading screen, and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. And also, I'll be providing article link to our website, Git where you can have a so visit our website get trade tips as well so that's all about it and i hope this video is helpful see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye